Hi everyone and welcome back. So now we can see our application is working fine. Here we can go to these different routes. Okay, now what we will do is whenever we are moving to these different different routes, we don't know. Sometimes what, what happen if uh, this hire me routes is giving some error, right? And that route is not getting published. Then how we notify a user that something wrong has happened, right? It's not a client side rendering. When you click on it, we are actually downloading the JavaScript content from server and then displaying this, right? So what happened if there is some error occurred, right? So for that, we can actually use and progress. That is a module which is coming from next router itself. So what we will do is we will add this in the layout. We have to install it and progress module for our application. What we will do is npm install minus minus save. This is main dependency. This kind of a thing is available in almost all framework. Whenever the route is getting changed, you can actually track the progress and show some kind of a loader and all right. So same thing we can do here. So here first we will get router. Okay, router also we can get from next router and here we can do on route change start. It should be router dot on route change start. So whenever the route navigation started, we can actually start this end progress. We can start this loader whenever the route change is starting. This should be one start method. And whenever the route change is done, right? Route change is done or route change is giving some error, then we have to stop it. This is the only thing which we are doing and progress dot done and progress dot done. Either the route change is completed or while doing the route navigation, we are getting error. We have to stop this loader. Right on route change start. It should be route change start. That is correct. Okay, it is not loading, but that is fine. So now what we need to do, that's it. So whenever we load our application, here we can also console.log our URL, whatever the URL we are navigating to. Okay, this download is taking time. So now we got this dependency and progress. Router had a link we already have from next. Next, yes. Now we should be able to run this. Okay. In progress start. This is fine. Now if I try to run this code, you can see some kind of a loader is there, right? On the top right. So this is the default loader which is available for this kind of application. So this is a nice behavior when you wanted to load the application, right? Okay. So this you can use uh, for your application whenever the route is getting changed. Route, is, route change is started, start the loader. Once the route change is completed or some error occurred, stop the loader. Here you can do a lot of things. You can notify the user, you can do a console.log, you can do the debugging. All these things can happen in these three, four lines. Okay, this is an important aspect because we are writing server-side rendered component and we have to track the errors and all. 